Hello, this is Bob Dickens of Innovice. We're going to talk about SWIM5 now, and we're going to talk about how in SWIM5 you can model a variable speed pump. So here we have three pumps connecting the same two nodes. Each pump has a different um, on and off elevation. So one starts at 5, the other starts at 1, and the, and the third one starts at 2. So that's just a typical pump, and it's a type 3 dynamic head pump. There's also rules that you can have in SWIM 5. So here we go to our pump, and, and, and the first rule is when pump 1 is on, or was when the pump 1 is on and the wet well depth is less than 3, turn off pumps 2 and 3. Then when the depth is greater than 3, turn off between 3 and 5, turn off pumps 1 and 3. Then when the pump is greater than, or the wet well is greater than 5 feet, turn off pumps 1 and 2. So how do we do this? We, we run the model. And in the, in the output report, it'll list what the control rules were. However, to see that, we first have to turn on the control rules. And that's kind of a key thing. So turn on control actions. And now you have the control rules that are turned on. Pump 1, pump 2, pump 3, etc., etc. Okay, now let's graph that. And we'll graph all three pumps. So now we have all three pumps, and we turn it, graph it. And we can see um, pump one turned on at first, followed by pump two, and then followed by pump three. So we followed our rules. Then when it was turning off, it turned off pump pumps one and two. And so we just had pumps two. Right, pump two rather, and then finally pump three. So this is how you do a variable speed pump inside of SWIM 5. You um, basically set up three rules for your three pumps, or two rules if you, have for your, for if you have two pumps, and one pump follows the other. So you would it's basically one pump modeled as multi-stage two or three pumps. Hope this helps you in your simulation, and thank you for listening. Goodbye.